Welcome back to another Good Faith Energy production. Today, we're going to be talking about this incredible Tesla solar roof located in the heart of College Station, Texas. Hey, what's up y'all? It's Mo Abdallah with Good Faith Energy. Just landed in College Station, Texas, where we're here to show you a really, really cool Tesla solar roof that we installed. As always, if you're in the Texas area and you're interested in a quote for solar panels, solar roof, battery backups, or load management systems, feel free to click the link below for a no hassle quote from one of our solar advisors. What you'll find here is a 31 kilowatt solar roof generating 37,000 kilowatt hours a year approximately. This is equivalent to over $150,000 in electricity savings over the next 25 years. The warranty of this system is 25 years, but the lifetime expectancy is way beyond that. So this house has a monster electrical system. Big old service, three meters. What you guys are seeing here is essentially two Tesla backup gateways. We're backing up two main service panels in this home. We got this real clean gutter box right here so we can hide all of our wiring, which trust me, there's a lot of wire that goes into these systems. If you actually come up and take a closer look at these meters, you'll see that meters are moving from right to left, which means we're currently exporting more power than we're importing. So uh, this is a solar roof uh, in action, essentially. The uh, solar roof is generating more power than the home's consuming, thus the meter is spinning backwards, and your utility is reporting that, making sure that you get credit for your solar system's surplus power. And as you may have noticed, today is a very cloudy day, meaning really there's not much solar being generated, it's still meeting your entire home's needs. So the transfer switches, or the backup gateway as Tesla likes to call it, has to be installed between the meter and the main panel. That's why you guys see out here essentially two gateways right next to the meters and as we move inside, you'll be able to see the Tesla power walls. So now we're inside the garage, and here is where the treasure is stored. We have two Powerwall Pluses, one Tesla inverter, and two Powerwall Twos on site here in this garage. We also have a total of three Tesla EV wall connectors uh, charging this homeowner's multiple electric cars. This is, as you guys can obviously tell, a monstrous electrical system and a whole home backup power system. And with a total of four power walls, we're looking at a total of 54 kilowatt hours of storage. We have a surge power rating of somewhere between 35 and 40 kilowatt this battery system can handle. Obviously in the event of an outage, you don't wanna run your home at 30 or 40 kilowatts continuously, but just knowing that your home has the ability to do so gives you a lot of peace of mind and reassurance. Over here, you'll see the combiner panel. That's where we combine all the breakers for the batteries. We've put one in for the EV wall connector as well, but there's a 50 amp breaker that ties in the Powerwall Plus and a 40 amp breaker for the Powerwall 2s and then a 60 amp breaker for those EV uh, wall connectors. So that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you learned a thing or two, make sure to give us the thumbs up. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. That way you're informed about all of our newest videos. Share this with your friends and family. Leave any of your comments and questions below. If you're interested in a solar roof quote for your home, make sure to click the link below. I'm Mo Abdallah. We'll see you in the next video.